What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 7. Now, before we get into anything, I do want to give you guys a little fair warning. If you guys see me wincing or making any faces or anything at all, I am in an extreme amount of pain. Um, I had hand surgery yesterday to fix a displaced scaphoid bone. So, uh, but with the amount of spoilers going on on Twitter right now, and the pain's only going to get worse throughout today and even tomorrow, I said now would be the best time to record this, if any. So the episode came out like half an hour ago. I can't go on Twitter without seeing anything so far. So I'm like, we're going to get this done. The only thing is I don't know when I'm going to be able to edit it. So I'm definitely recording this day of, but I I thank you guys for your patience on whenever I'm able to get this up. Um, like I said, surgery is kind of crazy. If you guys want to watch this episode, the full uncut, full version, you don't even have to worry about editing, go check out that Patreon. Link's down below. Uh, also, leave a like on this video and let me know your thoughts. Give me some well wishes. I appreciate you guys immensely. Let's not waste any more time. This one's called Evening Festival. Let's hop right on into it. Also, if you guys can answer me in the comments, where do I recognize Mechamaru Muta's voice actor? I 100% recognize that voice. Where is it from? Oh, he got burned by that a good amount. Okay, okay, Muta. Mahito, low key. One of the more OP special grades. I know most special grades are OP. That's what makes special grades. I'm just saying. His adaptability, in my opinion, is what makes him so good. Which, in a show like Hunter x Hunter, show like JJK, adapting to their powers and whatever special shit's going to happen is so strong. See? He just turns into a fish. Miracle can in the two year burst. He is so fast in that fish most, which is right back, right in your face. He wants to drag you out of there. Big ass fist. Okay, Kendo, this ain't my hero. He's like, I baited you in with that, thinking you thinking my attacks can't do anything to you. Technique loaded. He can load techniques into this thing? Prototype zero? Ooh, what is that in his shoulder? What did he embed him with? Okay. Okay. It's one of those anime hits where he gets up. Now we're getting started. He got launched. Yep. This could be the moment I get. Get what, Geto? What do you get? Man, we're getting reveals, techniques, new moves, new abilities on both sides. I'm loving this. So we've spent one, two, five, spent seven years of our 17 years. Pigeon Viola. He's going to make like a an array of beams. I love how fluid that looks. Oh my god. I need to fucking take some acid and watch this. He's a rabbit now. I love how quickly he switched the mouse to get lower, smaller, big. He's, he's a fucking gorilla swinging. Oh my, this is so sick. You can't dodge these pigeon viola, whatever it's called. Holy. So he said, I'm not going to be on the defense. I'm going to go on the offense, switch it up. Is that his energy power source cut off? Bro. The animation and the fights, guys. And this is the very beginning. I don't even think the Shibuya incident has started yet. With the music. I love the pictures of his classmates and everyone he's watched over the years flashing behind him as he's doing this ultimate move. Mahito's domain expansion? We haven't seen this since Nanami. Oh, it's a guaranteed he touches your soul. Oh my, oh my, he's tearing it apart. The way they animate this with the infinite... Oh my goodness. Is this the end of Mechamaru Muta? Yeah. If you're in the domain, it counts as him touching you completely. Oh my lord. I remember Nanami kind of... Accepted his death when he got caught in it. Man? What is he talking about? Jujutsu histo history? I sat at Tsuna Ashia to protect his disciples? Why well, need a whole show about that? This was invented during the Heian era? It was passed down in his school and a pact 
what are you serious that we haven't had from the fucking Heian era how do you pronounce that guys a domain for the weak bro an anti-domain expansion technique we've never seen this did Mucha fucking win? Is that not, uh, what's her name? Miwa's, yes! It's like N from Hunter x Hunter. I love when Miwa used this against Maki, even though Maki was able to outdo it, but... So he, he like, broke out of it. Oh my god. If there's any underlying details or side story, side comments you guys can give me about Miwa or Muta's simple domain, I would love you guys. Because I'm so curious. Mahito, you getting in this or Ghetto? One simple domain left in nine years of energy. He's like, okay, Ghetto, you next. I already handled Mahito, even though I don't think Mahito's dead. Keep thinking of that beautiful woman. He has indiv his individual Mechamaru's inside his big Mechamaru as well. So have one simple domain left. Bro, this fight is insane. It's still going on with the music. It's like we're fucking just starting. Oh my God, guys. I cannot get over how beautifully this is animated. The colors, the mix of colors plus the darkness, like the desaturation and the saturation. This is gorgeous. Oh, with the dark heavy lines. It looks like Gurren Lagan when they animate it like that. As it cuts back to Miwa when Mechamaru said he was going to sleep. I agree. Remember that little prank with the she one gave him double A batteries and all shit? Yeah, because of Maya. That's so sad this conversation is happening and Muta can't hear it. He would love this, you know. Don't say that as he's on the verge of death. Please don't. Don't don't talk like this. Don't. He was the pitcher. I remember. <laughs> don't don't make me don't make me sad. Don't do it. Don't do it. JJK, I'll beat your ass. I swear to God. I swear. I swear. Don't know. He made himself burst apart. Wow. That was some quick thinking. I said his adaptability is why I love him. Goodness gracious. Show me at least Muta's body. Let me confirm or deny, please. I can't be left in suspense like this. As we see Shibuya, it says Happy Halloween. The streets are completely empty. We know that's going to be the complete opposite once this shit goes. First time we're hearing narration. I love that. This is the same narrator who was doing like the uh, recap episodes while we were on break for this. She's such a great narrator. Oh my god. Oh, this is what Shibuya normally looks like. This is what I was expecting. Are we really not going to see Muta? Or... Look at those Halloween outfits. I wonder if there's going to be any Easter eggs towards other animes or anything like that. It looks like Fire Force, like, none co costume. I don't know, you know? The veil, 400 meters. I love how it's starting from the moon. The way they're setting this up makes it seem like shit's going to... So are we... I got goosebumps. Are we starting this? Only regular people. Oh, are we really starting this? Yeah, Nanami. Hold on, I need to get what's his name. His name. I fucked with him since season one. Um, Takuma Ino. I've never had his his name. Ino, because he's been promoted by Nanami. He's been there since JJK Zero. Yeah, we got Maki and Nobara. Wait, 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 Nobara and Maki, already one of my favorite teams. You guys seen that shirt I wear with just Nobara and Maki. Love them. Some of my favorite female characters. I've wanted to see the Zenin family since we got that flashback of Maki and Mai when she got told off and he was like drunk, but you know he was a badass. I can't even tell if that's him. That has He has the same mustache, hairstyle, could be. Naobito Zenin, let me write his name down, special grade one 
is there a difference between grade one and special grade one? Like, like, cause you, technically, even though it says it says under evaluation for promotion, okay. Cause I was about to say technically aren't Maki and Obara grade one as well, but I'm curious. I just can't believe. I can't believe we're gonna see some more Zenin in action. I don't have his name either. I've seen him in multiple things, bro. This arc is gonna be fucking insane. So everyone's on standby. So they're out. Everyone's on standby outside of the veil to catch anything Gojo can't handle by himself on the inside. And they can't contact each other inside out. He's a little more panicked. The girl on the right looks like. There he is, Gojo Satoru. The man, the myth, the legend himself. And Goman. 831. Go. All right, I can wait a week. That's fine. That was, that honestly satisfied me. I'm, I, I can honestly wait a week. Pretty satisfied. From that being the last episode of the transition period between last arc into the Shibuya incident arc, also giving us some great info, backstory, lore, everything. By golly, mixing in a crazy fight in that was just a cherry on top. And when I tell you guys, I have a feeling that we're gonna get so, so many fights this season. It's not even funny. Um, let's talk about these teams. We got team Nanami, Megumi, and Ino. Love that team. We got team Naobito, Maki, Nobara. Love that team. We got team Atsuya and Panda. Love that team. I want to see Inumaki. Who else do I want to see? Obviously, uh, uh, Yuji. I want to see... Uh, what? Why haven't we seen Yuji or Inumaki? I also want to see Yuta. wonder what he was doing traveling abroad with Miguel. I wonder if he's going to come back at all this arc. Very curious. Um, Gojo's gonna be handling this all on the inside of the veil himself, and they're gonna be catching any rebounds. It's gonna be insane. <laughs> I am so excited for this. You guys have no you guys have an idea, but you guys have no idea. Um also that fight with Mahito and Muta, whether it be them trying to one-up each other, Muta having a counter ready for domain expansion, Mahito having a counter for that. I know I said it during the fight. But Mahito's adaptability, man, it always gets me. Whether it's him turning into a, have, having hoofs so he can run fast, fish, swim fast, fly, you know, like his adaptability. And especially in a, in, like I said it earlier, in fights like Hunter Hunter or JJK, where more often than not, it's not necessarily who's stronger than the, your opponent that wins, it's who can outsmart and out technique your opponent that wins. Having an adaptability on 99 in RuneScape levels is fucking really good in this sort of show. I mean, we've seen he's been on the brink of death against Nanami. He's been on the brink of death, brink of death against Muta, and he's just slide. I mean, he'll say he wasn't on the brink of death, but it looked like it. You know what I'm saying? But great episode, great fight. That animation when he was dodging the pigeon viola, whatever it was called. Oh my god, animation is going insane, insane. I'm loving this. The voice acting, the music. I can't glaze it enough. I am the Krispy Kreme manager when it comes to JJK. I'll admit it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out that Patreon, all that jazz for the early access uncuts. Um, wish me some luck, guys, for the recovery of my hand. I appreciate y'all. Have a great day. Peace out.